What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on this 1987 Ford Mustang. And as you guys can see, this car has been sitting for a very long time. The owner has actually owned this car for about 19 years now and it sat for pretty much, I'm not gonna say all of it, but a good five or six years, which is strange because the car runs and drives perfectly fine. But in today's video, we are going to be transforming this car back to its factory condition. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. I post brand new videos every Thursday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this Ford Mustang detail. Moving on to cleaning the wheels, I'm using my Extreme APC on the tires and fender wells. And for the wheels, I'm using my Mad Detailing Iron Eraser along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. Before I can move on to any type of contact wash, I need to get all this dirt and grime removed. So for this, I'm using my Extreme APC diluted 10 to 1. You could use an APC or you could use a some type of snow foam. I honestly just like using the APC. It works a lot better and it's a lot cheaper in my opinion. But yeah. So the customer told me before I started this detail that he's going to go ahead and replace the top anyways because it's all ripped up and it's just, it's in bad condition. But I wanted to give our Extreme APC the ultimate test and honestly, I was pretty mind blown by the results. It worked amazing and at the very end of this video, you guys will see that this top looks absolutely brand new with our Extreme APC and just a simple scrub brush and a pressure washer. So if you guys have not tried our Extreme APC, Right after this video, go to www.maddetailingusa.com and pick some up because I promise you, it'll change your life. And this stuff, you can literally use it on pretty much everything and it works extremely well. And is honestly gotta be the best degreaser on the market. And if you guys don't believe me, try it out for yourself. And if it doesn't work, I will gladly give you your money back. But 
with that being said go buy it please support us spend some money or don't that's fine too i appreciate every single one of you but if you do spend some money on the website i love you even more just kidding but either way yeah as you guys see right here mwah, perfection baby All right, now that that's out of the way, moving on to a contact wash, we are now foaming the vehicle down with our foam cannon and our mad detailing super blue soap. And then we are going to move on to giving this vehicle a nice hand wash with a soft microfiber wash mitt. So what I'm using now is our mad detailing iron eraser, and that's gonna loosen and remove all the iron buildup that is inside of this clear coat. And as you guys will see in a second, there is a lot of it. And moving on to cleaning these seats, since this is the original factory seat and they are red and they do tend to fade a lot, I'm going at this with a different approach. As you guys see, I sprayed it with the extractor first and I got it soaking wet, not soaking wet, but pretty much damp. And now for the cleaner, I'm using my mad detailing leather cleaner. And the reason for that is actually a multi-purpose cleaner that can be used on any types of surfaces and it is super delicate but super powerful at the same time and the reason why i sprayed it with water first because i want to have as much lubrication on the seat as possible because if not when you're using the drill brush it creates a lot of heat and a lot of friction and i did not want it to tear up the seats and also i'm using the white drill brush instead of the green one it's a lot softer and for the extractor i'm using my mighty hp60 hot water extractor
All right, guys, so uh, if you guys have seen my recent video that I posted last week, you will know that I messed up on the voiceover like, I don't know, three or four times. <laughs> and I'll be damned if y'all don't let me know if I mess up. There is so many people saying, bro, you suck. Learn English. And I love it. I love the hate. I think it's awesome. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, I think we already have the best detailing videos on YouTube. So if we throw in some perfect voiceovers in there, some perfect editing, I think all the other detailers are gonna, they're gonna get insecure and we can't, we can't have that around here. So we might have a little bit of, you know, messy voiceovers, but that's okay. I'm not perfect. <laughs> I'll admit it. I focus more on detailing than I do the voiceovers. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. But there's something about being in a quiet room, talking to a microphone that doesn't talk back trying to explain something that you did two days ago that's just i don't know it's just weird to me but i'm trying so just give me a break give me a break or you guys can roast me that's fine too i love it don't think you're hurting my feelings because you're not if that's your goal you're wasting time but either way hope you guys enjoy the video Moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this car, I'm using my Mad Detailing Leather Cleaner again, just because like I said before, it is a super safe formula on all types of materials. And I'm gonna follow that up with a detail brush and then I'm using the steamer very, very lightly. And I can't express this enough. If you're doing an antique vehicle and you, have, and you don't have a lot of experience with a steamer, I would honestly recommend staying away from it. It is super, and I mean super easy to burn plastics and fade plastics especially on an old antique car like this you really have to be careful and honestly that goes for you know anything with an antique car like you can't just approach it like any other vehicle and just go ham with the apc and all types of brushes and just smash panels around because everything is super fragile and it will crack and it will break and you will have to replace it so yeah anytime you guys are working on an antique car whether it's your own or a customer vehicle or if you're a detailer please 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 be careful because stuff can happen and i would rather just <laughs> you guys be careful and and to learn the right way and the right proper techniques instead of just going ham and having to call your insurance and say hey i messed up a customer's car but either way yeah just be safe when you're working on antique vehicles
And the product that I'm using now is our Mad Detailing Ceramic Interior Detailer. And this is by far, and I mean by far, one of my favorite products when it comes to a protectant for interior plastics. It gives the finish the most, I don't know, it's so hard to like describe if you haven't used it. It gives it like a brand new feeling. Like <laughs> once again, it's super hard to you know describe, but I get a lot of good feedback about this product. So if you guys are looking for a good interior dressing, I highly recommend using this one because it's not greasy at all and it just gives a nice satin finish and a new look. Before I could do any type of paint correction or polishing, I need to clay bar the entire car. And for this, I'm using my mad detailing clay lube and a synthetic clay bar.
As you guys can see, the hood has some extreme water spots and oxidation along with very deep scratches. So moving on to the paint correction, I'm using my Rupes 21 polisher, a microfiber cutting pad, and Sonex Ultimate Cut. And as you guys will see, it gives some amazing results. And one thing that I didn't film, but I always do, after every single pass, I blow my pad out with compressed air. And the reason why you wanna do that is because the compound and paint residue will get stuck up in there and your pad will no longer cut and you will not get the performance out of it that you were getting previously. So yeah, and honestly, after every two or three panels, I switch my pad out. So anytime you guys are doing paint corrections, you wanna make sure you have compressed air and a bunch of clean pads handy.
So after getting all the defects and heavy scratch removed, it's time to move on to polishing the car. And for this, I'm using my Rupes 21 polisher again, but I'm switching it up to a red foam finishing pad and I'm using Sonex Perfect Finish. So I'm not exactly sure what happened, but we did ceramic coat this car, but I switched SD cards. And when I went to go review the footage, it's just not there. So I'm just honestly glad that I didn't film this entire car on that SD card and then something happened because I would have been pretty upset. But either way, we did use our matte detailing ceramic coating that will be released very soon. So if you guys are wondering what protection we use, that is it. And honestly, I'm pretty sad that I filmed the entire thing for it not to be here. But yeah, that's why you guys don't see me putting on any type of protection.
It's good, man. That original paint didn't shine like that, but it was new. How long have you owned this car? I've had this car 19 years. 19? I bought it from the original owner. 41,000 miles. Hardly used. Ready for a new top. I can't believe the top actually came out though. No, Besides, not... Besides the ribs? Yeah. I am very surprised how clean the top came. But we're putting a new one on there. I figured. We'll trim out the black a little bit. Fix that pinstripe, we're good to go. Vanilla ice style. Huh? Vanilla ice style. <laughs> Dude, that looks good. Really, really nice. 